Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me for another episode of Pairing Whiskey with Music. I'm going to listen to what music I'm just in the mood to listen to, and I'm going to drink the type of whiskey that I'm in the mood to drink. And while I was editing the new review that I just did for the Larceny Barrel Proof, the B524, while I was doing the editing to this video, I was having another glass of this um, because I usually drink the whiskey that I was reviewing while I'm doing the editing. Uh, just because the flavor notes and all that stuff are fresh in my mind. And so I'm revisiting it while I'm editing. I don't know. It's just a thing I do. But while I was doing the editing, I was like, man, I want to listen to that new Eminem song. Because for the last week or so, every time I go on social media and I'm just kind of doom scrolling, I hear that same 10 second clip from the new Eminem song, Houdini. And I was a big Eminem fan from the get-go because I was a senior in high school in 1999 when Eminem's first album dropped. And I've just been a fan of his ever since. Now, I'm not going to lie and say that I've purchased every one of his albums or that I think any of his albums are no-skip albums. You know what I mean? There's always a couple songs that I'll skip on the albums. But for the majority, I like Eminem and I think he is one of the best technical rappers out there when it comes to his sentence structuring, his rhyme schemes, everything he does. He's very creative, very innovative. But anyways, I won't drag that out too long. So I'm going to pour a glass of Larceny and see how it goes with this new video. Now be warned, I am going to be watching the YouTube video as I do the review. And YouTube doesn't really like you to watch YouTube videos on YouTube. I don't know why YouTube doesn't like it. It gets confused on who the monetization goes to, which I don't care about. That's not what I'm looking for. But sometimes when I watch a YouTube video on YouTube, it'll get shut down and I'll have to do that 30 day wait period. So I don't know if they're going to do that to this one or if they're just going to let me slide because sometimes YouTube lets me watch YouTube videos on YouTube, but a lot of times they have a problem with it. And so just know in that copyright battle, this video might not come out for a while. All right, so this is new one. Like I said, I have not watched this yet, but it looks like they've had almost 80 million views in the first three weeks this bad boy's on YouTube. That is freaking crazy. All right, let's go. Hey, Em, it's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. Good fucking luck. You're on your own. Got a problem. Check this out. What the fuck is this shit? Get your ass down here. Guess who's back? 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 Going back to that old school. Well, look what the stork from Little baby devil with the four tongue And it's sticking out, yeah, like a sore thumb With a forehead that it grew horns from Still a white shirt Pulling up in a Chrysler to the cipher With the fake burps and a blood light shirt Lyrical technician and electrician Y'all light work And I don't gotta play pretend It's you, I make believe And you know I'm here to stay Cause me, if I was to ever take a leave It would be as for to break a feed If I was to ask for making the Stallion if she would collab with me would I really have a shot at a feet? I don't know, but I'm glad to be back like Abra, Abra, Cadabra. I'm about to reach in my back, bro. Like Abra, Abra, Cadabra. Just like that, and I'm back, bro. <laughs> Now back in the days of old me, right around the time I became a dope oh. ate some codeine as a way of coping, take the vote, be gets case of vote, eat, turn me into smutty face emoji, my shit may not be age appropriate, but I will hit an eight year old in the face with a participation trophy, yes, I have zero doubts, that this whole world's about, to turn into some Girl Scouts, that censorship girls out, so when I started this verse, it did start off like hard, and it first it feels like I'm talking it, mind boggling how my profit is skyrocketed. Look what I pocketed, yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been. Like joking, and I've been running at full speed, and that's why I'm ahead like my noggin. I'm the fight y'all get in when you debate who the best, but I'm some white chalking when I step up to that mic cock it in. Oh my god, it's that chicken out again. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to stop it right there and just say that there's a lot of stuff that just happened with the rhyme schemes, with the flow, with some of the things he actually says that are very reminiscent of some of the things that he put out like 20 years ago. So it's fun to see him getting back to that old style because some of the stuff he's put out more recently, like within the last 10 years, hasn't been like this. This is a lot of fun, a lot of tongue in cheek, just cheesiness. Just lots of fun. And just like I thought, this Larceny Barrel Proof is hitting great with this song. It's complimenting it very well. Let's go. <laughs> To the anger, you but fuck that. If I think that shit, I'ma say that shit. Cancel me, what? Okay, that's it. Go ahead, call quit. Snake ass prick, you nail cross dresser, fake ass bitch. And I'll probably get shit for that. But you can all suck my dick. In fact, fuck them, fuck Dre, fuck Jimmy, fuck me, fuck you. Fuck my own kids, the brats. Fuck them. Take a off, them and you off. You two paw, got two balls. Biggest group paws. What you thought you saw, ain't what you saw. Cause you're never gonna see me. Caught sleeping, see the kidnapping. Never did happen. Like Sherry Papini, Harry Houdini. I vanish into the Daenerys. I'm leaving like. Trust me, I'm a great driver. Don't worry, I just got my license back. I'm about to reach in my back. Oh my goodness. Uh, so like I said before, that was very reminiscent of older Eminem tracks where there's multiple people throughout the song that he just throws in and disses. And if you're not paying attention, you could miss it because he just flows it in there so seamlessly to where he just dissed somebody. And if you don't know who that person is, you might miss it. And then there was those parts that looked like Grand Theft Auto above watching him hit other cars and him standing in front of a crowd like the real Slim Shady video. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad I waited to listen to the whole song and I waited to watch the video until I could review it and do a reaction with you guys because there was a lot going on there. Uh, what did you guys think of the song? Drop a comment below and if you have any suggestions or uh, reviews that you'd like to see me do, uh, put it in the comments. Cheers.